management of cultural heritage now management of cultural and natural heritage is one of the main aspects of applied history now this management of cultural heritage at the international level is done by unesco at the national government level it is done by archaeological survey of india and voluntary organization is intac or indian national trust for art and cultural heritage the work of conservation and preservation is done by experts these experts have to be aware of cultural social and political histories applied history is useful in creating the awareness among them among whom among the experts so the experts have to be aware about this particular site or this particular thing that they are going to be conserving preserving or restoring the operations necessary for the conservation preservation and development of the heritage site can be handled without causing any change in its original state the local social structure and psychology of the local people challenges faced by them in the present situations and the expectations can be surveyed in detail due precautions can be taken to avoid hurting sentiments of the local people while completing the projects of conservation preservation and development of a heritage site participation of the local people in the project can be facilitated systematic plan can be designed to employ the local skills in a creative way and create better opportunities of livelihood so by using the principles of applied history we can do all these things we can involve the local people in the project we can create employment opportunities we can preserve and conserve these important sites without causing any changes in the original structure we can keep the people the local people involved so that they support the efforts taken to conserve and preserve and develop the heritage sites affiliated professional fields knowledge of history can be supportive in the decision making with regard to respective legal provisions and public policies in the fields of museums and archives preservation and conservation of historical site tourism and hospitality entertainment and mass media every field mentioned here requires expert and skilled personnel for example for museums and archives for museums you need a museum curator for archives you need someone who has a uh, management skills when it comes to archive management for tourism and hospitality also you need someone who understands the history for entertainment and mass media you need legal experts you need skilled photographers right so every field here requires personnel who are experts and have some specialized skills for example architects engineers historians archaeologists museum curators sociologists archive management professionals legal experts skilled photographers etc the help of experts from many more fields is required these experts need to have adequate knowledge of the ancient sites the historical background of the structural remains and artifacts projects in the field of applied history can create various opportunities for these professionals museums now what is a museum a museum is an institution that cares for a collection of artifacts and other objects of artistic cultural historical or scientific importance many public museums 
make these items available for public viewing through exhibits that may be permanent or temporary. The earliest museum in the world was discovered during the excavations at the city of Ur in Mesopotamia. It was built by Princess Enigaldi. Clay tablets inscribed with the descriptions of exhibited artifacts were found. So these clay tablets which you see on the screen had information about the artifacts which were displayed. Indian Museum of Kolkata. It was founded by Asiatic Society in 1814 CE. Its founder and first curator was Nathaniel Wallace. The museum has three main departments, Arts, Archaeology and Anthropology. Other departments are Conservation, Publication, Photography, Exhibition, Presentation, Model Making, Training, Library and Security. Archives. Now what are archives? Archives preserve and store all documents, official records, old films, etc. The National Archives of India is in Delhi. Every state in India maintains its archives independently. Now there are certain archives which are established with a specific purpose. For example, if you see the second example. The National Film Archives of India is located at Pune was established in 1964 as media unit of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting of the Indian government. It served three objectives. To search and obtain rare Indian films and to preserve the heritage for the benefit of future generations. To categorize the important aspects of films to create documentation and catalogues and carry out research in the field. To establish a center for the dissemination of the film's culture. Rare means good and remarkable which are not found in large numbers. Dissemination means the action or fact of spreading something especially information widely. So this archive was created with the objective of collecting Indian films which are good, remarkable and may not be available in large numbers. To arrange these films which were collected according to different criteria and categories, to document them, to catalog them and to spread facts and information about them widely. Now in this lesson we learned about the role of applied history in public training programs for understanding the importance of history, for creating social awareness regarding the conservation, preservation of a cultural and natural heritage, using knowledge of history for this purpose to enhance the professional skills of people and to develop industrial commercial field to carry out preparatory work and plan for effective implementation of heritage projects etc. It is essential to avoid vandalizing of historic and public places and to ensure that they are preserved for the benefit of future generations. So children in this lesson we have understood the concept of applied history. We have understood the applicability of history in various fields and also in real life. In this lesson we have learned how applied history helps us to understand the importance of history. Helps us to understand how applied history can be used for generation of employment opportunities. Applied history helps us to understand the importance of various historical and public places. How they are important from the point of view of a cultural and natural heritage. That is why we need to preserve and protect 
these places for the benefit of the future generations. So children with this we finish explanation for this lesson applied history. Thank you for listening. Goodbye and take care.